Hey guys, how's it going? My name is the Xbox Nut, and uh, I hope you're enjoying all the build, uh, build your own blocks videos I've put out uh, relatively recently uh, before the amnesia videos. If you haven't, I'm sure there'll be some links on the screen for you to go and check them out. Um, but today I've got a bit of more of a Minecraft related program and it's called Little Man Computer which is a simulator on the web uh, you can look it up if you want, it's quite complicated so you might want to do a bit of research first but essentially this is what I moulded my Minecraft CPU of um, moulded my CPU of or off moulded it on I base my Minecraft CPU on this so basically this program is uh, essentially a command list and it will run through the commands until you get to the end and it will output you this I'll put you the uh, number. So, in my CPU and Minecraft, you would say, okay, let's add, let's subtract, let's shift, and then let's uh, XOR, and then it would give you an output in binary. This is the same, apart from it's more arithmetic um, and calculating, kind of. It's numbers, it's not, it's a uh, deanery, it's not binary. And so, you have your commands in this corner. You've got some uh, com uh, commands, you know, clearing stuff uh, if you've got a load of code in there, it'll just get rid of the commands and then it'll uh, get rid of the data in the memory. You've got your output here and you've got some variables, count and loaded value there are a bit irrelevant for now, they're more complicated stuff but accumulator is basically the output just not shown so it won't go through all of the rubbish working before you get your number at the end. So uh, a quick demonstration of a program, we can do a counter that goes down from a certain number until it reaches zero and how you would do that you would set you would add a number into the uh, accumulator so let's say you wanted to count down from 15 oh, wrong keyboard 15 you would subtract however many you want to count down by so let's say you want to subtract 1 and then you use this very clever method of branching branching of positive which essentially says if the number in the accumulator after this has happened so it'll be 14 if it's positive you can branch to a certain command so if we were to branch to 2, God, I keep hitting the wrong keyboard, it's not plugged in. If you were to branch to section 2, it would branch to the subtraction data, and it would subtract another one from the accumulator, and this would keep going until it's not branching, uh, it's until, until it's not branching because it's uh, either 0 or negative. And so essentially that's a, count, that's a countdown. And then you would output, oh, I keep doing this, you would probably output... Uh, the number before the branching so that you get the number counting down not just zero at the end so output then you would do your branching if positive to two and then you would halt the program so let's see in action if you look at the uh, output here you've got the numbers counting down you've got the program working because you can see all the buttons and stuff accumulators working it's counting down it's counting down it's counting down it's going to stop and it stopped it stopped because after you hit branching of positive and it goes through the command after you hit it, it'll go to this halt and halting just basically ends the script so this program isn't really what you'd see in my CPU this is more uh, little man computer style however it's essentially what you can do in Minecraft uh, if you want you can branch, it's just that my CPU in Minecraft that's I'm going to this, I'm going to be honest isn't finished it's not really what you do it's more in Minecraft it's just doing arithmetic in an order so in Minecraft you can make them really big but in my one it's only four um, four commands and four bits of data so what you do you would have uh, your data commands so you could say add subtract um, in well in Minecraft you've got shifting and uh, exploring so you can't actually use anything else apart from add and, and, uh, add and subtract here but let's say you could just add subtract add subtract just for the hell of it um, add 30 god oh, wrong keyboard again uh, add 20 add subtract 30 add 1000 add that <laughs> and subtract that and then you would output this and then you'd halt it so that's the final output in uh, in this program and in Minecraft it would be uh, something similar like that apart from the numbers wouldn't be as big unless you wanted them to be um, and you'd obviously have a lot more commands plus it would be in binary so but this is essentially how you would program it in Minecraft apart from you'd have a load of buttons and switches and a counter going in which you can use for counting in build your blocks as well I've, I made a counter variable and you might, be, you might be interested in some of the code it's actually quite simple essentially what I've done 
uh, you have the commands in this box here and you've got some space for some other ones and when you click on a command no matter what it is it will add uh, the the name of it into the last of the commands list that's why it's empty and you have to input the data in the memory manually unfortunately um, and it will so basically it will put the word into the commands and then if you go to the stage I've made these blocks uh, basically how you do that is you click on this button uh, down here called make a block and once you've chosen where you want it to appear it doesn't really matter you would uh, essentially ooh, what have I done? I haven't named it just name it that essentially you'd grab a load of code and you put it in and then that block would do whatever's in the code but I don't want to do that because I like my code so hopefully it didn't make it and oh, it did I'm going to get rid of that delete block definition my codes are in uh, the control variable things they're there and each one has its own code for if it's present in the commands list so if item counter of commands because what it does is it will go through the uh, through the counter and do a command it one by one so when you click the flag it will set the counter to one if item one of commands is add change the accumulator by item counter of data so in normal terms if item one because we're on the first counting uh, step if you like if item one of commands is add you'll change the accumulator change basically means add by item one here of data so if you say add 50 it will change it into 50 and then you change the counter by one and then you end this little section and you go to counter two and so here if we say if item two of commands is add m change uh, accumulator by item item because with uh, memory you put the memory slot in the data and then you add the memory unit in the memory list so change the accumulator by item uh, item 2 here of item 1 of memory so yeah if you're interested please send me a message or comment on the code and I'll go through it again but uh, essentially yeah that's my little man computer or minecraft CPU in builder and blocks so thanks for watching and I hope you guys will stay tuned for some more videos, i.e. Amnesia and possibly a Minecraft Let's Play uh, in the near future. Thanks for watching and goodbye.